Good morning from Cape Town. Um, I'd just like to say a big thank you to She Talks Ball for having me on this morning um, and for the Instagram takeover today. Um, I'm about to go for a run and then afterwards I might go on the mountain and just be in nature for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll go for a run now and then I will come back home and make some breakfast. I am always backing our girls, but I think it's going to just be a really good contest between the two teams. Because um, I know our ladies have been working hard, but we also know that England has played a lot more tests than us. But um, I'm backing our girls. So I wouldn't recommend tracking calories for everyone. I just found that I wasn't eating enough for what I was putting out. And I was putting out so much energy during the day that I wasn't actually replenishing it. So that's why I count my calories. I think the direction that the game is going, it's becoming a lot more inclusive and it's becoming a safe space for athletes. And I think that's really important for especially young cricketers coming through. They want that safe space. They want to know that they can be themselves. Um, I do think it needs to be spoken about more um, in terms of inclusivity whether it's race whether it's sexuality no matter what it is I think there needs to be a more open conversation around those topics in the sport honestly I can't remember um, but I can remember watching the cricket and we were watching the men's team and I just thought I want to play for the proteas one day and I meant the male produce because I didn't know about women's cricket. That's a good question. Um, I'd probably be in a band, honestly. Um, I've always had a dream of like touring and and going on tour and being in a band. Um, but that's kind of like a childhood dream. So maybe not. <laughs> but that being said, I did also study sports and exercise. So I'd probably be a strength and conditioning coach or something along those lines. Um, just because I love... Um, exercise and fitness and all of that stuff um yeah so my journey definitely hasn't been linear been a lot of ups and downs um but i've learned so much along the way i've met so many cool people um i'm grateful for where it's taken me um so i'm really just hoping it's up from here. Um, so I was actually sitting in my room. Um, I was living with my parents still and I got a phone call and the question was, are you available for these dates? And I said, yes. And, and they told me, okay, well then you're going to the West Indies to go and play for the Proteas. And I screamed, I ran down our corridor at home and I just like screamed to my parents and said, I'm going to the West Indies. And it was such a, an amazing. Yeah, so that's, um, and then I, I was lucky enough to have my first tour in the West Indies. Um, and that's where I made my debut at the Kensington Oval in Barbados, which was super special. Um, and what a beautiful country. So, in South Africa, we have this lovely thing called load shedding. And it's basically where the power goes off for about two hours a day. 
So, I live on the fifth floor. And the elevators aren't working. So I'm having to walk up the stairs in the dark to the fifth floor. It's just more fitness for the day. So I think what we're doing at the moment in terms of the shorter format of the game, since it is more entertaining, it will bring in more crowds, which I think is a really good idea. But I do find it alarming that women's test cricket isn't in the plans going forward. And I think that is something that should be addressed. Um, I do believe that from a player's perspective, I mean, we want to play test matches. We don't just want to play T20 and ODI because test match, it's like it's the original format of the game. And I mean, if we look at the quality of cricket that is being played when women do play chess, like we have the women's ashes, which is awesome. We have our South African ladies now about to go and play against England. And the standard is really high and it's good cricket. My advice is to go for it and just give you a 100%. If you really want to do it, if you see, if you can see yourself playing cricket professionally, then you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you is you. Like, don't doubt yourself. No. Most of the time, the things that stop us from achieving success or whatever it is, our goals, it's us. And it's because we listen to negativity um, and we doubt ourselves. But if you leave no room for doubt, then you're going to succeed. I think my all-time favorite is um, Sachin Tendulkar because he has the philosophy that you must be a good person off the field. Um, because people might forget how many runs you score, but they'll never forget how you make them feel. And that resonates. Guys, thank you so much for the day. Um, as you can see, I'm settled down. I'm going to have dinner now and then head to bed. Um, it's been quite a tough day um, of training. But it's been good. And just a big shout out to She Talks Ball for having me on for today. And I wish you best of luck for everything else. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. And it's been really nice to catch up with you guys and answer all the questions. And head over to my page. Give me a follow. Follow She Talks Ball if you're not already. And let's just support women in sport as much as we can and try and grow the community.